Hello to all my friends in Canada. I have an announcement. I will be in Saskatchewan, Canada, May 15th through the 18th, and then I will be going over to Alberta, starting off with Edmonton on May 19th and 20th. Then I will be in Red Deer in Calgary, the 21st and the 22nd. So if anybody in Canada is watching this from those two providences right there, Give me a holler, 323-727-7084. I'll put the number on the screen or email me, sales at atlassurvivalshelters.com and I'll try to visit you or say hi to you when I am there in Canada. Also, stay tuned. I'm gonna find the safest places on earth where you can go hide in case the apocalypse happens. Starting on June 10th in another month, I'm gonna make a trip to the furthest southern point of South America, past Buenos Aires, Argentina. I'm gonna to try to find a place where if the shit really hits the fan, where people can go and sit it out because if there's nuclear warfare, our skies are gonna be covered 70% here in the Northern Hemisphere. But if you go to the Southern Hemisphere, they're only gonna lose about 30% of their cloud cover. So foods and, and, and animals will be able to survive better down there. So I'm gonna go find a place where you can survive if you're starting to think like that. But sit back, I'm gonna give you a quick walk through my factory and show you what's going on here today. All right, good time to do this. So it's lunchtime here at Atlas Survival Shelters. And I'm telling you, uh, this factory is full and I'm gonna show you what I mean. So we are at that stage where we're done with R&D. In about two weeks, <coughs> this side of the factory will be like a Ford automotive line. We're gonna mass produce 10 by 20 foot safe sellers on this side of the factory. And over here on this side of the factory, we're gonna do nothing but make these custom bunkers, which are gonna be the 40 fifters, 40 fifters, <laughs> the 40 footers and the 50 footers, because they take up a lot of room. But right now, there's no space in this damn building. There's no space outside. Luckily, we have employed the factories around us and they are starting to work for us as well. And as you can tell, they got plenty of room to start making mud rooms and stairs and doing other things for us. But back here at Atlas Survival Shelters, we are filling up. We've got bunkers inside, outside, throughout this factory. It is full. The whole world is going bonkers for bunkers. And I don't blame it. I mean, it's only a matter of time before China attacks Taiwan and we're gonna be in World War III with China and Russia, North Korea and Iran all at the same time and people are gonna want a safe place to go and God, I hope it doesn't happen. But I'm prepared for it. I saw this coming. Hey guys, you enjoying your lunch? Yes, sir. All right, that's good. Stay in the shade because it's hot today. But um, I've got our factory in Poland going. This factory is cranking. We got the factory behind us going. We got a factory across the highway going. So guys, as you're watching my video today, if you have a small fabrication shop, and your ISO 9001 rated, there is an opportunity for you to be able to manufacture products under a license deal with Atlas Survival Shelters. You can make anything from mud rooms to stairs to the hatches that we put on the bunkers. As long as you're a quality, reputable manufacturer, you might as well apply because shelters are going all over the world right now. I'll take a peek inside here to show you what's going on here. So this is a 12 by 50 big boy. You see, the first thing they do is they put in the flooring, the underfloor storage. So the water tanks are built in, all the metal studs are in the ceiling. It's really nice inside here. But anyway, we've got a ton of bunkers going on and we've got a ton of new employees. So we are getting to that stage now where we can make these bunkers a lot faster. It's not gonna take one or two years to make a bunker now. Our goal is to make them in three to four months and make the smaller bunkers as fast as like, you know, six to 10 weeks. But uh, these are just walking through the factory. I know it's crazy how many bunkers are in here. We just literally are 100% full right now. But you know what? If you ever got to use a bunker, you want to make sure that behind that door right there, you're safe. This is why we're using these gas tight doors because we don't want smoke going in there. 
We don't want chemical matters going in there, chemical warfare, biological warfare. So if you're pressurizing that bunker from the inside, the air will be pushing out, nothing should go in. Also, so if you have to decontaminate these little portholes right here, it allows somebody to hand you some clothes. So after you shower, they can hand you the clothes through there. And when you're in the bunker, if you want to get rid of some waste, you can actually push it through the hole and let it stack up in the mud room. So the Atlas survival shelters are really well thought out. Guys, people always ask me, Ron, what kind of food do you have in your bunker? And I always reply, I love my mountain house. So guys, I developed a drop page called shelterwithatlas.com. And on here, you can get all my favorite foods. They're supplied by Emergency Essentials, but guys, I've got discounts built into these prices. So if you wanna support yourself and support my channel, go to shelterwithatlas.com and start buying all your survival food. And guys, I suggest you get as much as you can while you can. Here, I'll walk back through this other side now, or go back for you guys. but. Um, see, now we're sandblasting the inside of it right there. So we sandblast both inside and outside of all these bunkers. After we blast the outside, we put that 150 year tar coating on there. After we blast the inside, we put on a two part epoxy. And this flooring that goes in there, there's no wood in it. That's a 100% composite plastic. That costs 10 times the price of wood right there. That stuff is not cheap. But look under our floors, look at the size of those angle irons that cross our floors. So you have strength in the walls, you have strength on your feet. And of course, these are all the mud rooms and generator rooms. So before you even get to the bunker, you come down a set of stairs, you walk into a little mud room right here. If you go to the right, that's your generator room. Look, there's two doors right here. This one door, this leads to a battery room, which is dark. Then this door leads to the generator room. So there's a diesel generator in here. So I'll look back the other way. So we don't have the generator in yet, so we haven't capped it yet. So generator room here, gas tight door, battery room, another gas tight door, mud room, another gas tight door, decontamination room, another gas tight door, and you're into your bunker. So on this particular bunker right here, that one's got four gas tight doors between you and a diesel running generator. But you'll notice all the bunkers are made with those heavy I-beams up top. Guys, why? Because if a tank or something or bombs literally start falling, you don't want your shelter to cave in like a tornado shelter. You want it to be structurally sound. And then we also do these watertight round ones. So that's just a round one, it's watertight. Matter of fact, all these shelters we're doing now are watertight because we weld them both inside and outside. And we actually have a patented process on how we're doing that. I'm not gonna reveal it today. But one day I will. So this is what it looks like in a bunker. They just fitted this one up. That's a 10 by 40, I believe. Yeah, 10 by 40. They're making another floor. So guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Like I said, I will see you in Saskatchewan. I will be there Saturday, uh, May 14th, I arrive. And I will be there the 15th, 16th, 17th, 18th. And I believe it on the 19th, I'm going to Edmonton. I will be in Edmonton the 19th and 20th. Then I'll be in Calgary and Red Deer the 21st and 22nd. Well guys, I look forward to seeing you. If you wanna give me a call, call me direct at 323-727-7084. If I don't pick up, it will give you another number to send me a text at. But guys, also you can email me, sales at atlassurvivalshelters.com. We can try to schedule something there. I do have some open dates, okay? But guys, I look forward to seeing my friends in Canada real soon.